Well, good day everyone, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring. We've just been out in a section of Wallaroo shooting a video on a custom Colorado. So we're just testing everything out as we go. So uh, I'm testing this microphone, this camera. Uh, we'll just see how it happens. So, um, yeah, just uh, when you see. No worries, mate, I'm on my way. So when you see this footage, um, hopefully you like it. Come on now, mate. Well, good day, everybody. Steve from Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Touring. Welcome to episode five of Toys. Today I've got a Colorado. And without getting into any rubbish, because I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to introduce you to the owner. So uh, come and say hello, Marco. Hey, mate. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Hello, everybody. Right, this is Mark's Colorado. I'm going to let Mark do most of the talking, because he knows all about it. So, uh, mate, we'll get straight into it. We'll start with the uh, the bar work. What have we got going on yeah, here? It's just the uh, an AR bar, just like bar you just factory buy. and. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's got the um, IPF um, extreme LED um, lights and just the uh, just the winch in there. You got the winch, is it? Um, <laughs> I don't really take it's a it's something. It's a winch. An X2, yeah. An X20. We'll find out what yeah, that is. That's it. <laughs> uh, what that's else? Uh, anything on the front? Oh, no, just aerial? a just a UHF aerial. On the front, um, yeah. no bash plates or anything no, no, underneath no, no, yet. Plates, no. right. Don't need them. Nah. Down the track. Just, um, yeah, just another uh, two meters, seventy centimeters on the guard there. Oh, I've got one. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little flexy one that handles anything. Yeah, get in the bush and stuff like that. And just, uh, yeah, just a, just, oh. a, just a factory snorkel. But I wish I would have got the safari one. So. Uh, well, we all have issues yeah. with those kind of things to change. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, well, that yeah, pretty well wraps the front, doesn't it? So yeah, we'll get round the we'll get round the side, have a look there. All right, Marco. So now we've repositioned the camera, guys. What have we got here? Rims and tyres, mate. What have we got? Yeah, this is CFA um, um, rims, Raptor rims, and just the uh, a few of the tyres, which um, like mine. Yeah, look exactly the same as yours, David. Yeah. Mine's just a smaller diameter. Mine's only a. A 32 inch. Oh, 32. Yeah, oh, 32. Yeah. So, uh, oh, they did a the job. Yeah, no, no. Just, uh, what's the suspension you got in there, mate? Uh, it's just um, old B and um, two inch in the front. And, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, just put the, the frame in the back, back with the screens, and uh, yeah, just the factory, um, <laughs> factory steps. Factory steps, and later on, I like to um, upgrade them, and uh, oh, yeah. Factory snorkel still? Yeah, yeah, factory see. snorkel. Oh, well, while we're um, on the side, what we go up here? Yeah, it's got the Rhino wheel pack on there, and that's the ARB awning on the other side oh, there. Yeah. And, um, we'll look at that in a minute. Yeah. The um, ARB canopy? Yep, yep. Is this the flash one with the yeah, yeah, central yeah, yeah. locking and stuff? Yeah. I'll better have a look at that. Yeah, yeah. Just the button on your side there, and yeah. up it comes. Yeah. Oh, so it's a trap standard tow bar. Yeah, just the factory tow bar. Wheel like still on there. With your Anderson and your yep. seven pin by look at it. Look at the camper trailer and it's already ready to go. And cool. Let's check out the inside of the back while we're here, mate. Yeah, mate. No worries at all. All right. Well, you haven't got a lot of gear in here, mate, so I'm assuming you've got reasons for it. So what do you got? What's what's in here at the moment? Yeah, just the um, just the battery and charger and stuff. Just the I put the fridge in. Uh, just the, a smaller roller drawer. I didn't want to carry the big ones. Um, or well, the bigger drawers anyway. So. So what do you carry on the other side, mate? Just no, oh, just this sort of camping gear and and stuff like that. Ah. The drawer's not real big, but it's just enough for. Get some little bits and pieces all your and tools and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need. And, um, Power sockets and stuff up the side. Yeah, yeah. Hide the old fridge and C-Tech. Yeah. 
Oh, that's your DC-DC? Yeah. That's oh, cool. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Um, well, you, I'll be using a red arc, so... Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, CTEX are good. Yep, and just the fresh white, just... Okay, oh, okay. it's like that, so... It just comes out like that. So. And you normally got, what, a CFX-50 yeah, or something? Yeah, yep, that's correct, yep. So, yeah. So, um, no, it does the job for what I want at the moment, so... Uh, normally, people, I can tell you he's got a CFX-50 in there, but it's away. It'll yeah, get fixed yeah, later. Getting fixed. After 10 years. Yeah. yeah Waco's allowed to break once every 10 years, yeah. surely. But, um... Yeah, anyway, that's all good. Or yeah, we might uh, check out the, the side. Yep. What else is there? Oh, this is your audio, eh? Yeah, just an ARB. Uh, we'll have to 2.4 by 2.4, but, um, and, uh, actually put up an LED light strip. Oh, right. Uh, in it too, so, the outside's sitting around, you've got a bit of light, and just feed it through the, uh... What do you do, just chuck a swag underneath it, or...? Yeah, I'll just, you just feed it. Okay, well, let's close the mail, smoke the cigarette lighter, and uh, yeah. Cool. That's uh, actually a great idea. We won't pull them out, I'm sure we won't have to pull them out of smoke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they fly around whenever we shoot videos of bundles. Anyway, we're going to check out the inside of Marco's truck next. So, uh, see you then. Okay, we're going to have a look inside. Mark will jump in the driver's side. I'll jump in here. These are really comfortable from my memory. Yeah, not so too what, bad. What have we got going on in here, mate? Pretty oh, simple. Mate, just, yeah, just pretty simple. Just got the iPhone up here on the, on the mount. Um, and got a. Um, is that any special brand or is that just an no, eBay job? Just, or? Uh, um, I'm actually not sure. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it works really good. That um, plays on the screen. Cool. And, um, it's got to mount me GPS and me. Um, Right, yeah, you're, and you're as bad as me, you've got more of a one radio going yeah, on here, yeah, so what, that, do you, what do you got there, man? Yeah, just the the UHF on my left there, and just, um... The uni den? Yeah, um, like Steve, I'm amateur as well, so I've got the 2 metre, 70 centimetre uh, radio there. Yeah, the Yasu, same as mine. Yeah, yeah. Good radios. Actually. Yes, but, um, other than that, it's, yeah, it's pretty basic. Pretty stock. Pretty basic, isn't it? So, Dash uh, mat to protect it from the bloody sun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd be lost without my dash mount. Yeah, God, yeah, you need it these days. All oh, right. Um, so has it got navigation or anything uh, in here, or no, is this just no, standard? It doesn't, no, yeah, the, uh, cool. the newer model come out with that, so right. just, anyway. Oh, there's a tow pro down there. Yeah, tow pro, I've got all that hooked up for one day having to get in the camper, and it's, yeah. yeah. No flashy mats or anything just no, yet, No, just mate? the uh, factory holding mats, mate. Just oh, they do the job. Later on, just get some, uh, the rubber ones, so, yeah. Cool. But, um, other than that, yeah, it's oh, just sort of a... Uh, sneaky spot for speakers down here. Yeah, it? probably not the best, but anyway, I'll all throw right. them in at the time and... You can hear them, can't you? They work all right, so... Yeah. The only problem with these new utes, aren't they? are sort of limited to space and... Yeah, well, people usually like to mount them like behind your head there, but I can see there's an airbag sign yeah, there, man, so like you probably don't want to do that. Airbags, airbags on the, the front, side, so there, just be, Yeah. Yeah, there is a problem. That's the thing with airbags these days. They might have behind me console for the same reason. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, well, it's oh, two 12 volt so sockets, but I'm looking at it. Yeah, That's yeah, standard, yeah. I guess. Yeah, two standard. There's one in the back and um, plenty of drink holders. <laughs> That's, That's the important part, the drink holders. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, so, so uh, I'm not, not sure what else we've got to talk about that's in here. But it does all we need by looking yeah, at it. Yeah, so. it does a little job at the moment. So. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll just. Get back out and do some more. All right, round of the engine bay section. So, what do we got going on under here, Marco? Well, it's just the, um, the 2.8 turbo. That's basically it, mate. 2.8. Um, okay. Yeah, 2.8. Oh yeah. That, um, I thought these were a three liter. No, That's how no. stupid I am. <laughs> no, just a 2.8, mate. But he cuts along the highway pretty good. Good on fuel. Yeah. Got the, What's this um, job you here do, mate? What's that? Is that for your Anderson plug or something? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. actually got the coupler tech too in it as well. Ah, you can see there with yeah, um, good idea. I'm yeah. a big fan of coupler techs. Yeah, yep. A lot of people will say they're rubbish, but no, they're really yeah. I had a truck for eight years with rust in it, never got any worse. Yep. So I believe in them. Comment below if you disagree or agree with coupler techs, guys. Yeah. Uh, so it's all pretty standard. Yeah, just pretty standard, mate. There's nothing under it doesn't mean boosted or on the dyno or nothing like oh, okay. that okay um, 
Well, pretty well covers the engine then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I suppose it's all you need. If you don't need to really do it up, don't. No. Less to break down. Yeah. Right, well, that's uh, pretty well a look at Mark's truck. So uh, you don't have to have a hell of a lot of gear done to them to have a good off-roader, guys. So uh, this pretty well does what Mark wants it to do. But uh, anyway, just a few questions, mate. Have you got any further plans for what you'd like to do to it? Um, probably the rear bar. But, um, a bit more might, yeah, the rear protection. bar, a bit more protection. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably later on, maybe a few years' time, maybe upgrade the suspension. I've sort yeah. of only had a budget. Yeah. On um, to do what I could do on this, but um, hopefully further down the track, I'll do a lot more improvements to it. Sure, I'll be keeping it for a while. So yeah, why not? Do um, a good thing. Why not? Really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, you hear this a lot on everybody's videos, but everybody does it. Uh, what's your three favourite mods? You reckon? Oh, that to be at least the bull butt. I reckon, especially for the bush and that. Probably tyres. And yeah, probably a bit of suspension. Yeah, I'd agree with um, that. Yeah, you definitely need that, I think. Especially yeah. a bar or yeah. more protection in the bush. And if you were building it again, would you do anything different? Yeah, probably. Yeah, be a few different things. Okay. Uh, if somebody's thinking about buying one, you bought this new, didn't you? Yeah, so yeah it's the if, somebody, if somebody's thinking about buying a new Colorado, or bit there. Probably a little bit different now. Yeah. What should they look out for? Or better still, if they're buying this model second hand, what should they look out for? What do you found as um, a downside with it, upside with it? I think Is there any problems? Is there no problems? What do you the, reckon? Yeah, I think the uh, bit of a downside to clear is looking out the window. Looking out the windows, it's like a shallower window, and the, and the seat doesn't really go down as far as up because I'm a pretty tall guy. All right. And that's probably probably one of them. Sometimes when you go around the corner, you've got to be ducking down to see under the... No, in, no inherent engine, suspension, seat, radio or anything like no, that? No dramas, like that. any no, of that no, stuff? No, everything's been uh, good, touch wood. Really? But, um, yeah, no, I, I love it. It's great. There's, um, there's a few different cars I was looking out there when I was um, going to buy it and uh, ended up coming down from Colorado. Cool. But, um, yeah, it's got good towing capacity and there's some good things about them, some bad things, but I guess it's like any vehicle. Well, he, well it goes all right. Yeah. I've had it follow on me before, guys, and that he, he's gone everywhere I've gone. We've never had an issue with it. It's a little bit lower than my trucks, and it's followed me everywhere I've gone. So, can't really ask for more than that. Uh, anything else that we should think of, or do we know of? Fuel range. You reckon you'd ever put a bigger tank in it, or you'd rather carry Jerry's, or? No, I'd actually, yeah, I'd actually like to get a bigger tank in it one day. That's probably another thing on the bucket list to um, to do. Yeah, you mostly set it up in a touring more than anything, eh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And um, yeah, but it's only got a 75 litre in the tank at the moment. But um, yeah, later Sorry. on, like you said, it'd be great to um, to do an upgrade. So. Sure. Well, I don't think there's much more we can talk about on this. Pretty well covered it. Uh, well, thanks very much for showing us your truck, Mucker. Thank you, Steve. Cheers. Thanks so much. See you, guys. Hey, guys, if. Uh, if you like this or if you'd like to if you're in the Newcastle area and you'd like me to shoot an episode of toys maybe more professionally this one because I'm still learning guys as you know uh, drop a comment down below I'll be happy to do it and uh, if you like this video feel free to chuck a like on it subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one cheers guys
Well, what has happened is Mark, after we finished doing everything, has got the thing bogged. And we didn't expect to be playing in anything difficult today, so we've neglected, stupidly, to bring half our recovery gear. So I have to back the Ranger back. He's got a winch off me tow bar. Because we haven't got any snatch straps, nothing. Rookie mistake, guys. It happens. Oh, and by the way, this is the results of my little bogging, or well, not bogging, but where I was a minute ago. Yeah. She's a bit dirty.